Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to the mid market update for today from the advisory desk. What we have for you is, uh, friends, uh, as we know, uh, the market opened on a flat note again, about uh, five points up on the Nifty, uh, which is kind of same mirroring the trend. Watch the Asian indices are kind of going through in the morning trade when the Nikkei was almost five, ten points up and down, uh, strike trading uh, sideways. Uh, this is the beginning of the week. Uh, we have started on a very lackluster note. Uh, as I'm talking to you, the Sensex is down by almost about 14 points uh, and it's kind of uh, roaming in that range about 20 points up and about 25 points down so we are seeing kind of stock specific uh, movements like Tata Motors is uh, up, uh, DLF is up uh, these are all stocks uh, that have kind of news going on uh, in that company to start with uh, shares of DLF uh, jumped by almost 5.5% in the morning when the market opened uh, because uh, the Amman Resorts kind of that sale has already kind of gone through uh, the buyer is uh, Adrian Zecha they have bought it for $358 million now this is again a big shot in the arm for DLF which is kind of uh, trying their best uh, to retire the debt uh, which is almost uh, close to 25,000 crores so this would definitely help uh, to retire the debt for uh, the coming quarter as they are kind of selling their non-core assets and shifting back to their main uh, construction and real estate activity. We also have Tata Motors which is going to announce the results. Uh, the stock is doing uh, good right now. It's up by almost one and a half to two percent. Uh, we see some good action and uh, expectation is 3500 crores on the PAT side uh, but uh, according to the rumors that is going on in the market, uh, Tata Motors might surprise on the higher side and it might come in even at 3800 uh, crores. So. We need to wait and watch uh, for uh, that results update. Uh, friends, we also have JP Associates that is going to announce results. Uh, so that stock is again in uh, kind of action. It has uh, kind of uh, hit uh, the day's low almost up again below 40 rupees. So uh, the results won't be that kind of great, uh, but estimates uh, would be lagging behind that activity. Uh, banking license, the Jalan committee is going to decide later on this uh, today and uh, almost they'll decide the dates on when they are going to grant the new banking licenses. Uh, I mean, last time they were only issued two licenses, uh, that is to Yes Bank and Kotak uh, Mahindra Bank. So this time uh, we're going to have to kind of wait and watch who are the likely contenders for the same. Uh, Friends, we have a lot of kind of uh, data that is going to come in uh, this week. Uh, this week would be a lot of kind of action to be seen on uh, the micro and macro data front. We have CPI data, we have GDP data for our Indian market. We also have Janet Yellen, uh, the new Fed uh, chairman, going to speak uh, on the 11th, that is Tuesday night. Uh, so that will reflect on the uh, Wednesday trade. Uh, so uh, we also have uh, important SBI and Sun Pharma results as well. So this kind of week would be a kind of a long and a hectic week for the market. Um. Coming on to the forex update, 62.19 is the rupee trading versus the dollar. It's kind of doing great against the US dollar. Because of the major Asian currencies that is kind of tumbling against the dollar, uh, whereas kind of our currency have maintained that strength and which is kind of definitely good for the market and the economy. That's all the update we have. Uh, we'll get back to you more in post market. Thank you.